Previously on Angling Anarchy. That's a, that's a musky. That's a musky. Oh. Hike. The musky. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and this is part two of day five of us fishing up in Ontario on Eagle Lake. We were staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge, fantastic place to stay. If you are going to head up there, I will leave their information in the description below. Now, the first part of the day, Jamie put two really nice fish in the boat. Uh, the second part of the day, um, if I remember right, I get one, and we have a ton of really cool top water action so you can look forward to that one real quick thing we crossed the 7500 subscriber mark i mentioned that in the last video i would love to hit 10,000 by the end of the year that is a lofty goal i don't think we'll do it but who knows maybe we can with your help uh, i don't ask this often but go ahead hit the subscribe button if you haven't already i really do appreciate it so without further ado let's get to the fishing i'll stop yapping let's do it it's gonna stay calm like this for another however long. <laughs> no, it's gonna happen is I'll grab the walleye sticks and I'll get you know get windy out or windier. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, they'll go back to casting and it'll go like this again. <laughs> like, ah, ah. You control the weather, Jamie. Literally. Well you guys want nice weather, no problem. We'll get the musky poles out. Ooh. What was that, Joe? Oh, oh, oh. She just she just puckered at it. I never even saw her, and I had the bait running still, and she went puck. Oh my gosh, that was a nice fish. That was a little forties. She tried to suck it off the surface. <laughs> she was like, it wasn't like a hard, an aggressive hit. And then she followed it. I saw. Yeah, she went down with it because I didn't want to. I just kept the bait moving. <laughs> So I'm sitting like this, yeah. and I didn't see her till right as I got out of the glare. Yeah, the glare. She hit the glare. as the glare as I, you yeah, know, I didn't. Kind of yeah, and I didn't react. Yeah. She, I didn't. She just went poof, like she was spitting at it. Huh. Yeah. What do you say? No. Yeah. Ooh, I, fish, fish. I think it's decent, Jay. I don't know yet, but the initial hit moved a little bit of water. No, it's uh, pike. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice pike. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, snag the uh, big Camara real quick. You want the big camera? Yeah. Yep. We'll get a we'll get a quick look at him. Maybe if I can. Yeah, he's he's well, he's pinned pretty good. I can. <laughs> you gonna jump or are you gonna behave? Oh. Oh. Boy, he's just big enough that he's kind of scary to handle here. <laughs> Okay. Scary moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the bonus of musky fishing. Every now and again, you get a decent little pike. Oh, man. We just we haven't seen anything since this morning, really. I mean, Jamie had that one blow up on a topwater, and we decided to come back into a spot where we really haven't fished. I mean, Jamie for years, me never. And uh, I was excited for a second there because that was a little bit, whoa, geez, man, a little bit better hit than just a tiny little pike, but uh, not quite the muskie we're looking for, but getting a little better.
dang it. Man, there's a good chunk of weeds in there. There's fish. Nice fish. Got it. All right, here we come, Jay. Yeah. Get him in. There we go. There we go, boy. Hook popped. <laughs> Every time you bend over it. <laughs> oh, we did it, Jay. Oh. Wow. That that's freaking cool. That's freaking cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it was, I'm surprised she didn't eat on that first turn. She kind of laid off, but then when I turned it, I sped it up, she ate in that back corner. Yeah, that was cool. Okay. <laughs> I just got an eye full of lake water and knocked my contact out. Okay, it's still in my eye. Oh, yeah, I th well, I don't know, man. Probably just barely, huh? Yeah. Oh. All right, bucko. God, these are heavy fish. Yeah, oh, you got a nice yeah. One. Yeah, that is. A, that's a tank, man. That is a tank. <laughs> that's what we come to Eagle Lake for. Maybe not size-wise, but wow. the heft of this fish is. She is. 42. Here you go. Yep. We'll talk in that nonsense of not getting a 40 on your trip. 42. Okay. You're belly. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a heavy, heavy Eagle Lake muskie. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sneak behind you, Jay. Yep. Okay. All right. I'd say the bucktail's in play again. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let her go in front of the camera on the gunnel here. There she goes. Bye, sweetie. I just forgot how miserable the last four and a half days were, Jay. This is this is fun again. <laughs> we have a three fish day. Three fish day, and we're not done yet, so let's keep going. All right, ladies and gents, that fish brought to you by the uh, old warhorse killer corn. This thing's, oh boy, look at that. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, but uh, I, I started throwing that on a 9.6 SWAT. I love this 9.6 SWAT for small bucktails, 400 Tranks HG, of course. 
And uh, yeah, let's uh, keep doing this because this is kind of fun. cow he hit it again oh my god that was cool that was awesome dude that was great white stuff yeah it was i can't believe he, he hit it a second time and still missed it are you kidding me that was ridiculous my man <sighs> that fish came completely it was not out a of small water. fish what's that it was not a small fish no oh my god i had my camera pointing straight at that <laughs> i know <laughs> that was wild, man. That, w that looked like one of those great whites going after a seal. That's what I said. I said <laughs> That'll be my commentary on that little thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's a big fish. Yep. That's a big fish. Yep. He's on it. Oh, he missed it, Brian. He missed it. I did a little pull, but he had it. He had it in his mouth for a second. He f***ing hit it. I guess that's a nice fish. Oh, my God. I mean, it's not good. I don't like it when I hit that close because you're more apt to react. Oh, well, I got the follow and hit I wanted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am heartbroken. That's the risk of top water like this. It gets you action, but it also gets you misses. Oh, the way she came up on that thing. That wave just built and built and built and her nose right on it. And I was trying to extend the cast, so I brought... Oh, there she is. Look at her. That's She's... a big fish, dude. That's a, probably a 50. I think so. Well, she's one of the biggest, fattest 48s. And... <laughs> Kitty Shack 2. Yep. Dan Aykroyd. Doesn't he do that in the first one? Oh, God! That was a giant fish, dude. Did you see how long that thing was? Yeah. Did you see the weird contorted way he came at that? Oh, uh, yeah. What in the world was that all about? He bumped the bait. I never flinched. I never flinched. I couldn't tell you what he was trying to do to it, but... Well, I don't know if it's because he was moving. Well, you can't complain too much about that, and even if you did, nobody would listen to you. That was a pretty good day considering what we've been up against here with these high winds. It was a gorgeous day. And to end it with some topwater action like we did, would have been nice to get some more of those fish to go. But uh, as long as the wind doesn't get too ridiculous, we have places to go back on, which we just we haven't had so far on the trip. Uh, this is definitely the furthest into one of these trips I've gone with without having any discernible pattern. And I think we've got some fish located. We've got some patterns to fish. So things are looking up for us, and uh, I mean a 42, a 46 and a half, and a 48 and a half is nothing to sneeze at. So that's that's pretty good. Um, so we'll take it. All right, folks, we need to get back to the cabin, get some rest because I think we're going to try to hit it early in the morning tomorrow, and uh, fish all day if we can. So that's the plan. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next video.